Previously on Flat Rate's channel, we opened some doors. We closed some doors. We closed a lot of doors. We got back in the door. We closed the door and we took a nap. We woke up. And we closed the door one final time. We talked about some turbo garbage. And we got confused. We got too much feedback on this microphone, and we bought a microphone just to do this beautiful voiceover. I'm gonna be honest with you, I forgot the line. And the line's not the only thing I forgot. I forgot something very important. I forgot to make sure I had all of the footage together. I'm missing footage. I don't have any footage of me taking off the exhaust manifold, which was halfway a pain in the ass, and I don't have any footage of me modifying it or welding any of the AIR holes shut. So, yeah, that's cool. So what I think might have happened is my cat might have gotten onto my phone and just deleted everything. I don't know. But it's looking like this whole stupid thing is going to be some kind of voiceover. Because I don't have any introduction. I ain't got nothing but me and a exhaust manifold, I guess. So, uh, yeah, buckle up and we'll get started. So, here we have an exhaust manifold. You can see on the top of the exhaust manifold where the bolt holes would be, they have been lopped off. They used to hang kind of upward. I say hang because the exhaust manifold is going to be upside down. You'll see what I'm getting at later on in the video. You can see here where I've welded shut the air injection reaction port. And right now I am just sizing everything up with appropriate hardware, with a drill I guess, to make sure it'll bolt up nicely to the head. I think we'll just go ahead and skip forward at this point, unless I see something interesting. I can say it as much as I want. It's going to be a voiceover. Yeah. <laughs> Do me a favor and don't ask what I was saying, because I don't rightly know. But it's okay. It doesn't matter, because it's going to be a voiceover. Huh? Looks like we're gonna put the manifold on. Let's see here. Huh? Alright, hold these. And this one's hot. If you're listening to this, remember to always hand your girlfriend hot things. If you can't tell what I'm doing with the exhaust manifold now, I want you to go ahead and slap yourself in the forehead and try and use that big old brain of yours. I'm flipping over the exhaust manifold to either A, hook the turbocharger directly to it, spoiler alert, was not going to work out that way, or B, to run piping straight from the upside down exhaust manifold to the turbocharger which is the route we ended up going. It's gonna sit. I just need to do a little bit more trimming. Right here where the old bolts went, well, they were hitting the head. So I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and cut them off. A little bit more trimming is code for another at least an hour but I was on the right track and I had a good feeling it would work I'm pretty sure I was right I think it worked Ricky did it work yeah yeah it in comes our turbo fitting I'm just trying to assess where I can put this thing I mean it's not particularly a big turbocharger but there's a lot of things I had to do, or will have to do, depends on what your consideration is for the video. All this 
has been done for a long time, of how I'm going to fit it. This is me realizing that there's no way it is going to fit from the manifold to the turbo. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I'm about to try to close the hood. So I pondered, I stared at it, I tried to put the turbo here, I tried to put the turbo there, I tried it upside down, I tried it right side up. The point was, it just wasn't gonna fit directly to the manifold. So I had to, eventually, devise a plan that was a little bit different than what I had originally anticipated. Another day, another... Wrench dropped on the floor, I suppose. You're about to see one of my favorite little tricks for measuring underhood clearance, where you take a retractable magnet or something that is, you know, telescoping. You set it up, and you close the hood and measure the clearance. So you can go ahead and take home that little trick. I can't tell you exactly how much clearance I had, so you can see me setting up to test somewhere else. This was about the time I realized that the turbo was going to have to go over there where the evaporative emissions canister was, and all of that stuff was going to have to go somewhere else. Like the trash can. So I went ahead and removed all of those pesky components off screen off screen. Does that only work if you're like recording your screen? Off camera. I removed all of those off camera because I don't know where the footage is. I'm pretty sure at some points during this process my telephone died and if your telephone dies while you're taking a video it doesn't save your video. So here's a quick little montage of me chopping up what was left of some of the exa stock exhaust so I could use it to get piping to my turbo. Here we are making the turbo flange adapter, if that's what you want to call it. Or you can call it the pipe from the manifold to the turbocharger. I'm pretty sure, yeah, right there, we have the T3, T4 flange plate. And that is way too big of a pipe. That's like two and a half inch, which is not what I ended up using, if I'm not mistaken. I ended up using literally two uh, pipes that I believe were one inch in diameter. I'll just fast forward through this so you can understand what the hell I'm talking about. Presto, I suppose. There it is, my beautiful creation. I don't know how to tell you guys this, so I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I'm not a welder. I'm not a fabricator. I'm just a guy who know how... Know, me know how car work. <laughs> so that beautiful thing right there was me cutting and hitting pipe with a hammer until it fit nicely and then welding it together. I don't know what I'm doing with that drill, but it's probably... Oh, I might just be cleaning it up. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm gonna make it look good, but I'll tell you what, it worked out really well. It doesn't leak. Yeah. Look at me hit it. Hit it with that wire wheel. Uh. To anybody watching this video... Hoping this was some kind of tutorial. It is a tutorial. It's as simple as it seems to turbocharge something. All you need is a turbocharger, a way to get the exhaust to the turbocharger, if you want to make your own stuff and be cheap about it, 
a welder doesn't even have to be that good of a welder unless you think somebody's going to critique your welds which a lot of people probably are critique my welds in the comments and you just need to get your oiling system together the real hard part comes after you've got the turbo set up and after you've got you know all the piping in the question becomes how are you going to tune it if you've ever heard somebody utter the words oh, I don't need to tune it, or it'll be fine. I want you to hit them. I want you to hit them really, really, really hard. Because the only way to make a turbocharged car live, especially one that didn't come with a turbo, is tuning. The most important part, and it's so important that I'm not even going to go over it today, Instead, I'm going to show you more manifold making, adapting, manifold stuff. It's fold stuff for man. It looks like the man on camera finally has something to say. As you can clearly see, I've made some good head game here. I've got manifold nice and it. Seems to hold up. I've got there temporarily. And then got this all on all welded up. The best you can with a flux core wire feed welder. Not exactly straight, not exactly perfect, but it's good enough for the gals I go with. What I'm going to do, set the turbo, try and arrange it to where I want it, which is going to be right about here. Something like this. Here's an idea. Why don't you turn off the heater and face the camera when you're speaking? Then I'm going to go ahead and build backward on the turbo to the manifold. Just hope that it works out well. I'm pretty sure it will. But like I said, I've never done this before. I don't know what to do. That's not necessarily true. I have a general idea of what I'm doing. I've never built anything like this. And if those aren't words of confidence, I don't know what are. And it's montage time. Here you get to see me actually making the majority of the manifold with a whole bunch of welding. And if you look closely, or farly, or any way you want, you're going to see me working with a bunch of little pieces of pipe. I'm going to let you in on a little secret that very many people know, is if you have a straight section of pipe and you cut the pipe at an angle and then rotate it 180 degrees. The angle of whatever you cut it at will then be doubled. So let's say you're looking for a 30 degree angle. You will cut the pipe at 15 degrees, rotate it 180 degrees out. You have a 30 degree difference, I guess. I don't know, I'm not a mathematician or a welder, or a YouTuber, or any of these things. But you can make a bunch of these little pieces and weld them together, and it will look like that. Here you get to see me messing around because it isn't a perfect fit. You'll see right there where I'm investigating that, uh, yeah, it's too high. Gotta cut it, rotate it again. <laughs> I believe I fixed that off-camera. And then I did some finishing touches for the welding. And, as luck would have it, I tripped the breaker. Yep. Boy, it's dark in here. Some bitch. Some bitch, indeed. I did end up taking off the manifold and the actual stock exhaust manifold, another two or three times just to make sure everything was okay and to finally put gaskets on it and I went ahead and I went ahead I went ahead and I went ahead and then I went ahead and I went ahead I went ahead I went ahead I went ahead I fucking went ahead and started it with nothing but the stock exhaust manifold because I can I lied to all of you. It wasn't just for fun.
It was to test the wiring I just did. Well, it's time for the less fun part. There's not going to be any welding or any cutting or any fabricating, which is kind of good. No, I got to go ahead and tap into the oil supply, and that is underneath all of this beautiful crap. probably going to be pretty boring. As I stand there and ponder, if it's really boring, why am I making a video about it? Oh, well. Pfft, I really don't have anything to say. But look at that guy go. He's trying to get that damn sending unit out. <sighs> Boring. All right. Can you see this? Boing. All right. Hopefully, the scrap they send me is uh, British pipe thread, but I doubt it. Holy crap, it is. Ha! Bro, look at me. Except. You see the problem here? <laughs> the hell? Well, it's not a problem. I'm just a fucking idiot. I mean, I'm just a gosh darn idiot. <laughs> Sweet. All right. I'm gonna make an artistic choice here and skip through most of the oiling system. You can tell what I'm doing. It's pretty straightforward. And there's our oil line. Now I'm clocking the turbo so it will outlet down into the wheel well. Just trying to get it at the right angle and cutting out pieces to make it fit. <laughs> make that more square and uh, I think I'll have her made. Hmm. Actually on second mention, uh, I should already have her made. The thing that seems to be hanging me up is a little metal bracket right there that didn't come all the way out. But just for sanitary reasons, I'm going to go ahead and make it just a little bit bigger on this side. Probably clean things up. I probably shouldn't smoke on YouTube. Then again, who's going to stop me? You? I don't think so. There's really not much to say on this process until quite some time in the future. So, please, enjoy the antics of whatever the hell I'm up to. having a slight alignment issue right here. That's about how it's going to look when it's done, except there's no downpipe yet. Should I do the downpipe first? 
if I go ahead and run the return line? I'm going to run the return line. I really want to hear what this thing sounds like spinning through a turbine. All right, let's see if we can fit this stuff together, huh? Well, that's a problem. Huh. Screw it, I'm grabbing <laughs> a frickin' hose clamp. I couldn't even fit with the line that came in the kit. I, I couldn't even fit that on here, or through here, I should say. So, seeing as how there's not going to be any real pressure here, it's all going to be a gravity feed. I'll just... Do it the old-fashioned way, huh? Nobody's gonna be staring at the underside of this truck, I don't think. And if they are, well, they need to get the hell away from my truck. That over there. Hey, hey, where'd my light go? Some bitch. Now, just for giggles, let's go ahead and prime the turbo, because I just really want to hear what it sounds like. All right, back to it. I suppose if I run it for just a little bit, it shouldn't hurt. for anyway
What am I aiming for? Back in there. It's gonna be hard to get on camera. It was hard to get on camera. I had to make a little mount out of something I bought at some gas station. You know, one of those suction cuppy uh, phone holders, and I glued a big magnet to it. I dropped it a lot. I have the audio turned way down in this section because there is a lot of cursing. But I'm going to leave some in because I don't remember it being this big of a pain. But I might be looking at it through rose-colored glasses because it must have been quite the pain. So, let's not talk about it. Let's be about it. is everything. Where the fuck am I? God damn. Poor out motherfucker. Hello? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. I had about enough of this shit tonight. And I said I had enough, but I kept going. I don't think I stopped till it was done. I'm going to have to do this blind. So without further ado... Whoops. Hey. Creating content is a pain in the ass. Well, maybe I don't have to do it blind. I don't know why I did it. I'd never made any videos before, but that didn't stop me, I guess. <sighs> fun. I'm having so much fun. I wish you guys could understand how much fun this part is. It's probably about the most fun I've had since my last trip to the dentist. To any viewers out there that don't understand what I'm doing, this is a drain for the oil that goes to the turbo, because the oil needs to go back into the sump. Most people would pull the pan to do this, but I'm flat rate, so I didn't. Well, that's annoying. Went ahead and got it done, and then as a safety precaution, there's a nice ring of silicone around this hot rod. Why? Oh, just to make sure. I didn't see any light coming through, but uh, I don't feel like dicking with it anymore. That should make sure it stays nice and leak-free. Yeah. Oh no, where's my little stand? Oh, there's my little stand. Not quite so little. Not until you... Whee! There you go. Now you're a little stand. You could do. Right. All right. Can you see? Kinda. You're a little dirty, aren't you? Any hoozle. Go ahead and take this thing. Oh, get a hose clamp. Ah. Hose and clamping. Go ahead and toss her on. You to do like a glove. And look, I got plenty to spare to hold it back. Whoops. And look, I've got plenty to spare to hold it. God, you can't see anything, can you? Hold on. Ugh. Apologies. Boink. Yeah. There. Can you see it? I'll reroute it. Probably off camera because it's about to die, but it's not that important. Make it have a nice, small amount of slope. Kind of tuck it away. 
probably do that right now. Boing. When I'm done doing this, I'll go ahead and pour the oil I took out of it back into it just to drain out anything that might have gotten in the crankcase. See that down there? Yeah, right way down there. That little hole. Should give me plenty of room for a downpipe. Can you tell what I did there? Zip tie around the hose, and then from that zip tie, another zip tie, make sure you're not actually putting too much stress on the hose. It's good practice. Ladies and gentlemen, now that the hell is on my camera? Huh, okay, all right. Anyway, now that we've got pretty well everything uh, situated up to the turbo, I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble it one more time. Buy some high temp silicone so I can go ahead and try to get a good seal. Went ahead and got some new hardware for the exhaust manifold just to try and keep it clamped tighter and uh, we're going to go ahead and redo not redo cut we're going to go ahead and take it all back apart buy some anti-seize and some silicone and throw it back together I still don't have a gasket for this T3 flange because for some reason who I bought it from didn't send a gasket I don't know why but I'll go ahead and silicone that, and hopefully that'll last for a while, just so I can try and do something with it while I'm waiting on the gas. Let's begin. Let's begin with some music. I get to listen to it, you don't. I did not mean for this to be a half hour long video. So I am going to stop it here. Lord knows I don't want to keep adding stuff on. I mean, if you've made it this far, congratulations. Go you. Here's a gold star for you. But I have a pop quiz. How many times did I use the phrase, go ahead or went ahead? Let me know. Also, if you look at the subscribe button and I say subscribe, maybe if you're only on a phone, I don't remember, it'll do a bunch of glittery stuff. Check it out. Maybe give it a click. Don't let me tell you what to do. It's just quite literally the only way to see what happens next. You know you want to hear those turbo noises. It goes...